we do have the capability, thankfully, uh, to go live. Uh, we have a uh, studio to link uh, box that we can send out our signal to the transmitter. We do occasional live broadcast, but right now it's kind of having the DJs pass the test to acknowledge what they're supposed to be doing on the air, um, to abide by the FCC rules and in the station rules as well. Uh, automation system, which we program uh, programs that DJs produce at home or here, pre-recorded on uh, the, uh, t in a in a digital audio file such as MP3, and we program that in in the time slot that their shows would be aired. We're just finishing our capital campaign for building the studio space, and that was a forty. $40,000 campaign and we have 7000 to go. So we'll start building the studio in that space back there in probably in April. At this point, we're finishing the design. And we're on the kind of at the point where we have to take it to the city to get the permits and make sure that it's, you know, up to code. What you're seeing up in front there right now is the radio station. That's where the equipment is that's broadcasting right now. That will be gone. And we'll either make that a community space or we'll make it more editing stations. So this area out here is essentially going to be a very kind of comfortable, inviting community space. And then in the back, we want, you know, a professional broadcast studio. It's going to look like any broadcast studio looks. This Pantoria building has been a blessing, I think. Um, you know, it's, it's a historic place to be. Uh, it's been transformed. It's going to be further transformed. It's repurposed. It's repurposed, that's right. And um, we're very lucky to be able to be here. And if you've ever visited some other community radio stations, we're living in luxury. Mm -hmm. So.